like I was saying earlier, Mike's throwing um, your regular Pro Series 16s. Um, Kelly is throwing um, his cousin Daniel Chapman's um, Black 20s, Black Widow 20s, which I have in my, I have both sets of these weights in my case. Um, the Black Widows, in my opinion, run a little faster than 16s, but slower than 20s. So uh, you shouldn't see really much variance in these two weights. They're gonna run pretty similar to each other. So you see just two, two different styles right out the gate with Kelly coming out throwing short weights. Um, Mike, who is my mentor in shuffleboard, um, I very, very rarely see him throw short weights early in a game. The only time you'll see him throw short weights is if he's up big in a game and he's just trying to protect his hammer, but you very yeah, rarely see him throw short weights. He's getting a feel for the board with every shot he throws down there yeah. with his first weight, for sure. Just so by the end of the game, he can know exactly how to stick a weight if he really needs to. And what you'll see, this will be so Kelly gave Mike a wide open lag. Um, Mike, a lot of times, wants to really put pressure on these players, especially early in games where people are learning boards. He may throw a two or three right here and see if Kelly's comfortable sticking something at the end of the board as opposed to just letting him go with the free lag. So coming up, coming up short right there of a one, this gives Kelly all the room in the world to really, really push for the end. The worst that's going to happen is Mike scores one and Kelly has a hammer coming back the other way. So you'll see him be pretty aggressive here, I'd imagine. Comes up short. Um, so makes you come off your lag. If you, you're pushing for a deep one, if it floats into a deuce, great. But you just kind of take your medicine right there and go to the next frame. Yeah, keep the game close. And really in this matchup, that's what Kelly wants to do, is just hang around, yeah. be close, have a shot to win, have a lag to win at the end. So this more than likely will end up being a tight game all the way through, unless Mike gets, gets something working, gets something aggressive. Kelly's happy with the way this game's going for sure right now. I'm interested to see what Kelly wants to do here. I said if he feels good about lagging this way, um, he may just keep the weight deep. Um, if he wants Mike to lag against two, he may throw a short weight here. Looks like he's just going to go ahead and stay deep here. He's probably going to try to get a stick stick scenario. Maybe he could end up with the light deuce down there. And Kelly, I mean, Kelly still wants to be able to get a feel for every part of this board as well. You know, I mean, the more that he gets a feel for the end, he knows that, hey, it doesn't matter which way I have the hammer. Um, I'm confident that I can lag both ways. Mike threw pretty firm at that. Yeah. Missed him. I think he was afraid of the scenario I was saying where Kelly might be thinking about stick, stick, you know, in that deep deuce. Yeah. So yeah. Mike wanted to just clear the board rather than stick it. So that's why I put a little more heat on it. So you'll see um, against against Mike, you want to get pretty tight on weights because he, he throws such great angles and will end up coming behind your weight and using, sticking your deep weight and using your other weight as a cover. Um, yeah, so, again. Yeah, so right now, we'll see where Kelly decides to go ahead and uh, cover this weight here. I'd imagine it would be about logo depth. I guess by logo, I mean the, I think it's a shuffleboard federation logo. I don't think he wants to get too tight on it. Well, that was a hammer. And that was a very big mistake by Kelly. He shook his head. He really wanted to stick that way to make make Mike shoot at that deuce. Yeah, because he knows Mike's already got, has a pretty good feel for this end, this lag.
Looks short. Oh, Looks yeah, a little yeah, short. Yeah. Again, he went back to that freehand lag. Yeah. So, I'd imagine right here, Mike's going to throw what we call a trap weight. He's going to throw something middle of the board, emblem. Um, if Kelly sticks it, he's going to start creating action. Kelly's not going around by this the, weight. By this point in the game, these guys are so good. They already know where the best go arounds are. Obviously, yeah. it wasn't a left cross we saw on the last frame. So, yeah. he wants to set up a right cross go around or a freehand go around that he thinks will bury better. And Kelly, Kelly just wants to play clean here. All he wants to do is hit weights off. If Kelly gets a um, a lag with nothing on the board, he loves it. So he's putting a little extra speed on him just mm -hmm. in case if he does happen to hit it square, which he's not trying to, it still will move over to a spot where he doesn't give Mike a dead go so around. It looks like Mike right here is trying to put it, like we talked about, he's trying to put in a pretty deep deuce. If Kelly sticks this weight, Mike possibly could stick this back for a light deuce and have Kelly shoot at a light deuce. If you have, um, I mean, any player, doesn't matter whether it's pros or fours, if you have them shooting at light deuces um, with their hammer, you're in, you're in great shape. So Mike will 100% try to stick this weight. He, and make Kelly stick and roll this to score two or keep him, if he sticks it straight up, it's going to be a one. Like he might roll it on accident though a little bit. Well, Those much. are both. He's not very happy with that shot, I promise. No. He wanted to stick that dead to make Kelly have to move it to score. The other thing you don't want to do in this game is start to become complacent. No, but that looks like Kelly really launched that. Yeah. That's very uncharacteristic. I don't think, I, I think Kelly I doesn't think know Kelly that he had the he had, hammer. He was just throwing it off because he thought Mike had the hammer. I think, Mike, I think he thought Mike had the hammer there. By the way, he's shaking his head. Yeah. Yeah. He absolutely thought Mike had the hammer. He just made a mistake. I saw, I could read his lips. He said he thought Mike had another weight. I think he thought they both had one more. Just a mental mistake, which is normally very uncharacteristic of Kelly. That's usually how he beats people. I mean, you'll see, you'll see Kelly do that. <laughs> Once a Once decade. A, yeah. <laughs> The only time that you ever really see pros do something like that is whenever they're playing the six-man event and yeah. they're <laughs> trying to coach three other boards. And Yeah, I actually did that yesterday. I had uh, told my teammate to knock his own weight off because I thought it was the other team and I lost the game for him. So. But, yeah, that's a little different situation. Though. So we'll see what Mike wants to do here. I would be shocked if he doesn't try to get aggressive. especially after taking advantage of a, a mental error by Kelly. He really wants to make something happen here. A little, so little hot. So we'll see if Kelly wants to get in there or again, he just wants to split these weights out, um, make sure that Mike can't get in there again. I would think he wants to either split them or bump it a little bit. I don't think he wants to put a three down there where he knows Mike can just go in there and stick it back. So he's trying to get around there. <laughs> Mike's lagging against two again. Um, this is several times so far this game he's had him lagging against more than one weight, and that's totally advantage Cameron in this matchup. You know, the, the only thing by going that way is he really didn't block much board, but there's not a lot of board that you can really block there. Um, the only thing you might see him do is put something in the middle. Oh, my goodness. Barely fell off.
We'll see here with Mike's first weight. Again, he's going to throw a trap weight. He wants to draw a stick here um, and start creating some action again. Uh, and you're Kev just going to see Kelly do the same thing, shoot that firm, firm finger shot and try to, if he does stick it on accident, move it over towards the rail. But he just wants it to be clear and no go around. See how he, that's people watching that that are beginners don't understand that that weight just barely fell off the rail on purpose. Yeah. Because Kelly was definitely trying to move that weight if he did stick it on accident. So you may see Mike try to throw another a deuce two. here. Try to get a stick stick situation. And this looks like this weight is deep enough that it's really not a bad stick. Um, looks like he was trying to stick it. If he wasn't trying to stick it, he'd be throwing that left-handed. So he feels that's a, it's, it's a great stick. And he moves it right there's, to the rail where there's, there's no mm, trouble. The only thing Mike can try to do here is um, stick and roll this weight into a deuce. Looks like that's what he's trying. Two square. Now Kelly has another free lag. Mm -hmm. So that's number four yeah. in this game, fourth free lag. And there's been three or four times Mike's had to lag against several weights. Yeah. So that's pretty much been the difference in the game and how the, how aggressive they've been able to go on their hammers. Looks like he gave, it a, gave it a good run. Yeah. It's kind of draggy. Get through there. Yeah. Good lag. It's a big deuce. Again, so last last frame he practiced that right right span into um, into the left corner. Now he may check the other corner, exactly. see what it's doing. Because he knows he's going to be have to make, still go after Mike's shots because Mike's not never going to quit. He's always going to figure out a way to get some kind of action working. So Kelly wants to know every inch of this board right now, especially with the lead, with his first weight. He's always seeing what that where that weight's going to go. And the you know there's. We still have at least one more game. You know, it's two out of three in the pro division. So you want to be nice and have this board wired in by the end of your first game. Yeah, you always want to win the first game out of two out of three, but it's not a disaster if you don't. Um, I've won more tournaments losing my first game, it seems like, and then winning two straight than I have vice versa because if you get down big in that first game, you end up really focusing on learning the board more mm -hmm. and, and using it for the next two games. And the player that has a big lead is not trying to learn yeah, the board. They're just, just trying, trying to get to out of that game. Yeah, yeah, he's just trying to keep the board clean and be very, very conservative. So again, this would be a good stick right here. Kelly wants to stick regardless because getting on 13, you know, you might say you're giving Mike a free run at it, but at this point, 13-6, it's, it's worth taking the risk. Yeah. So he's fine with 12-8 there. Uh, and you can see right here on Board 12 um, is Mike Melton versus Billy Melton. Uh, Billy Melton won the first game, I believe, 15 to 8. Um, next door is Obi Pearson, Joshua Duddle, looks like. Uh, I believe Obi. Obi is down. Obi is down 12 9. Looks oh. like Josh is lagging with one working. goes out, I believe. So Josh and Duddle got the first game.
Mike just wants to create any kind of action he can here. Yeah, we could shoot. We just don't have any overhead shot. That flat reel. That's a big three right there. So now the opposite of what we talked about, um, Mike being able to do uh, right here, you may see you don't, you may not want to be too close to this weight. You may want to be a little further back with Kelly, considering the shot options that he has. He's not going to throw a free hand and try to get in there. Um, you know, he's going to stay with that finger shot. Looks like it may be open from the right side. Possibly, he had to be, a, had to be a good shot, but the board falls more that way, so. He might go up to deep. I would think he would try the combo here. We'll see. Depending on how easy he shoots it. Looks like he's going for the combo. Yeah. That's what he does better than most, but hit it too dead. Still gives up two there. Well, Kelly right here is to get on 14. It's not to go out this frame, it's just get on 14. I think you're going to see him shoot more left-handed at this because of how much that rail is holding on the other side. Pretty firm to where if he sticks it, it rolls over to that low side. That is the go around side, like we saw earlier. Yep. So Mike has daylight. And normally, when he has his chance more than once, he's not going to mess up twice. I'd be very shocked if he didn't get a good, good weight around there. Just a nice, nice right cross. It's got to chill a little bit. Looks pretty good. A little open on the right side, which I don't think he minds because yeah, that's the Kel side Kelly's that doesn't really break hard. Kelly's He's going to go with a combo. Yeah. And he didn't get it. Mike has a couple options. I mean, I think he'll probably just cover it. He yeah. could end up splitting those out into two deep ways. He could throw another deuce on the other side. I and mean, I think you're trying trying to steal two here. You're trying to put a nice cover on this weight. You definitely want to make him shoot a combo at it and not leave it open. It looks like that's what he's doing. It's a good cover. He's forcing he's Kelly to shoot this combo so because Kelly is not going to take a chance on lagging and, and and letting the game get tired. Hour where you can get half get as many tickets as this sale price. He doesn't want to hit and go with all of them though. So instead of and he's right dead on it, but he still only goes up two and keeps the lead. So now, now, now he, we're gonna see the now, game shift a little bit as far as his, Mike his goal now is not to get on fourteen anymore. <laughs> Correct. He needs to go out he needs, here. He definitely needs to try to lag a deuce. And so what you've seen, uh, what you've been seeing for the last few frames with Mike trying to set up trap weights, now Mike, Mike's ultimate goal at the end of this frame is one of two things. Either you're making him lag on a clean board or you stick a me medium deuce into a, a light deuce, deuce and yeah. make him go after it. And have to roll it to yeah. beat you. And what you may see there, and you know. He's going over to the side where it, it looks a little fickle, you know. Could dump a little bit over there. It's hard to go down that rail. You see Kelly's even going across at it because of how straight that rail is. Normally, Kelly would fire that finger shot up the left rail. 
He makes a good shot, though. Yeah. Mike might be trying to roll this in. So Kelly wants to stick this way. If Kelly can, Kelly's ultimate goal is to be lagging, is against, lagging against one. Against one. Yes. Exactly. So um, I think Michael probably should try to hit. He's, go he's going to try to hit and go, but Mike doesn't want to throw a hard left hand, so yeah. he's going to throw a cross. You know, if that's if that's Roger Holloway, if that's Josh, um, Marcus, they're probably throwing they're throwing hard left hands at that, making sure they hit and go. And I mean, that's, that's not what he wanted right there. This will not be a one. We're not. He's not barely passing this weight and trying get to get on 14. This is either going to be <laughs> a, a two, two, three, or off. off. Yeah. And if he goes off, he has a hammer coming back. So. Mm -hmm. Basically, has two shots to win. Did he throw it? He threw it. Hey, he didn't. Oh my goodness! God, those are two pants. Those that's are some a, that's big a major mental errors mistake. right there. Yeah. The second one of the game for him, actually. To still be up 14-12, you know, after. Your, actually throwing your hammer off on purpose because he didn't keep track of the weights, you know, to still be at 14-12 and, and probably should already be out of this game. And that is not a, that is not a weight that you want to put against, on the board against Mike. Mike will never shoot at that weight. He's going to bump you up. We're trying 100%. You throw, the you throw that first weight off and hope that you stick there, stick Mike's last weight and he's lagging against game on board. Yeah, um, this is this is exactly what Mike wants in this frame. This is, I mean, this is a dream that when he saw that short weight, uh, I would say Mike got pretty excited. Yeah. <coughs> Kelly, I would think would drop one past that red because his That's angle's already taken away for the go around. But you know that uh, with as much as that board's falling that way, you may see Mike throw a little finger shot and end up. Bearing it on the other side. Yes, he might come around you know, the outside, rail, yeah. left rail side of his short weight and let it swing on around all of it because the board does fall this way. This is a dream frame from Mike right here. Down 12 14. I think he's going to throw it up this rail and see if he can get it to swing on in there. Even if he gets up close to it or, or up against it, even. Is not a horrible shot right now. So you see him throw that into the rail, hoping that that weight gets across that board. Looks like it's. And that's exactly what he wanted if it stops. So. Now. It's all started by the first weight, Kelly yep. threw. This, this entire scenario should not even be happening right now. Now, this is Kelly's favorite shot. You know, it's, it's a shot that. Uh, he should feel pretty comfortable with, but not a shot that you want to throw up 14-12 in a game without the hammer or with the hammer. Looks like he's going to get it. He doesn't want to stick it. That's about the best outcome he could have hoped for. Because if he sticks it dead, he still loses the game. You can see the same shot. Mike Mike may try to throw that a little closer to the rail, maybe get a little more jump um, off the rail and see if that buries a little more. But, man, that was a good spot. So he actually threw. I couldn't see what he threw last time, if it was a finger shot or it a span. Just, it was a, a, a mini span. That one looks a little better. This one he pitched into the rail a little more and got a little more swing. If he, he really would love for that to go on another six inches. Kelly's got to make a decision here. Um, he could go blue-red combo, but he's been having trouble on that flat rail. I mean, both of them have, honestly. I um, mean, I would be, I mean, he he honestly could take a lag lane away correct. and make Mike have to lag a deuce. Yeah. 
I mean, I mean, there's nothing right-handed that Mike can really throw with as flat as that side is. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he threw a little right cross in between those yeah. weights and just took all his legs away. Yeah. I think I would try to shoot that same shot and pick that red out myself. But the problem is he's worried he, as easy as he has to shoot that, he may roll it to a three yeah. and give Mike a right cross three to stick to go out. Or nick it and, and stay end up on. putting it into a two and yeah. Mike has to get past that deep blue weight to go out. I just can't see him not shooting that blue-red combo, honestly, as good as he shoots combos. Yeah, he chose to go through, like I said, and just take up lane. Not a bad shot. I mean, there's not many angles that Mike has to go down. Yeah, there's really not. Um, I mean, he's going to have to crank that right cross way over to the rail, and who knows if, if it holds. You know, we haven't seen enough action over here yet. I think it obviously holds better than the other rail, but as far back as it is and as sharp an angle as he has to take, it can dump. Yeah. So. He may try to like it straight down the rail and just hope it just bar barely, barely skims in the middle without running into that blue. I don't know. Seems pretty flat to me. It's a really good shot by Kelly. After, after, <laughs> after some pretty bad yeah, shots. Yes. Yeah. And I don't see. Yeah, I don't know it's if gonna he threw come it. in through the middle, but I don't Just know if he threw it. it though. Well, at least now he learned that the, that shot will come off that rail. Kelly Ward clean. Possibly sticking the sticking Mike's third weight to a rail is the key scenario for Kelly here. Uh oh. It's not what he wanted. So we'll see what Mike what Mike decides to do here. You have a lot of options. You can, you know, bump bump this blue weight up a little bit. Um, I create don't think some clutter. I don't think there's much right cross go around there. Looks like he's trying to fall in around the right side of it freehand. But he really doesn't even care if he buries this here. He'd love to do exactly what he just did. But That's good. But he had so many options, like you said. He could That's a great it. shot. Could, I would think Kelly would try the double stick here. So we'll see if Kelly can get this shot off the rail. So this is this is a flat rail. So he stayed inside of it. So this is Mike's third weight here. Um, again, I think you want to be further away than you do closer because of how good Kelly is at. Um, Combos. If yeah, Kelly, I mean, you Kelly might you might even let him g get to that deep one where you have a better go around. You know, yeah. let him pick that deep one out. You'd rather do that than be close to it. Yeah. Now Kelly so has see. a Kelly may to try make. to. As flat as that left rail is, I think um, he's still got to try to go for the deep weight here with only one one weight left after this. Needs to get that two off the board. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to <laughs> shave that weight. And he did. Great shot. So Mike's going to so try to stick this and hopefully slide a little bit to the right. You know, with that shot, not only did Kelly, not only was Kelly able to stick that weight, but it's actually now a light deuce to where Mike has to get into this weight kind of drive it a little bit yeah. and still be able to move it. If it's a one, then Kelly shoots at that lead weight, knocks one off, and he has Hammer coming back the other way. Yeah. Um, He's definitely so we'll going to be trying to roll this way. Got to hang in there a little longer. Yeah. Great shot by Mike. Um, so Kelly doesn't 
Kelly doesn't care if he sticks his deep weight. It just needs to go. Yeah. He, he wants He's to. He's going to shoot a right finger shot down there and just try to pick it out. I don't think sticking is even on his mind right now. Whereas some other players that shoot a lot more freehand and finesse may try to go in there and stick it. He's trying to pick this weight out. And he Great sticks shot. it. Great shot to go out. Kelly made that game a lot harder than it had <laughs> to be. I mean, he got out of it. Yeah, but, he made some uh, major mistakes there down the stretch. And uh, trust me, he feels very fortunate to get out. 